This article in the Las Vegas Sun recalls the story of Tomas Cruz, the first Chamorro military helicopter pilot, and his distinguished 25-year career. We spoke with his youngest son, Norm Cruz, who recalls one of his father's most notable assignments. Back in those days, they didn't, they hadn't set up Air Force One or any of those special detachments. Uh, they used the military helicopters to transport dignitaries around as needed. And so like his uh, claim to fame with respect to that tour of duty was getting the opportunity to uh, fly then Vice President Nixon to various places throughout in the uh, Washington, D.C., Virginia, Maryland area. But then there's the heroic part. The Army pilot served two eventful combat tours in Vietnam, surviving two crash landings. He had an engine failure and they ended up crash or landing um, without an engine on a rice paddy. And fortunately, he had the 13 South Vietnamese regulars with him and um, they were able to defend themselves against enemy fire. Unfortunately, the door gunner was killed in the firefight. And then the second time, uh, my dad told me about a crash landing. He, uh, he took a bullet in his oil tank or something, lost oil pressure, and he had to make a crash landing. This was the second time he was in Vietnam. Um, he made a crash landing on a bunch of banana trees, but it was so late in the day that they couldn't rescue him that night. So he and his crew stayed overnight um, trying to stay quiet because the Viet Cong were underneath trying to find them. So then the next morning they came, rescued them, destroyed the helicopter and life went on. Cruz flew over 150 combat missions and was awarded the Bronze Star for heroic service in a combat zone. He really didn't talk it about those sorts of things. He was more proud of the experiences. In fact, what he was most proud of, though, speaks a lot about the true Chamorro heritage in him. Here he had all this combat time and everybody thought he was such a great pilot, but what he wanted to tell you about was how he was able to uh, build the battalion um, barbecue pit. He was a simple farmer at heart and bought a small ranch in Northern California where he grew fruit trees and vegetables and cared for his animals. For the fun of it, he decided to uh, raise some ducks and for the heck of it, he decided to try to make balut. Then the word <laughs> got around among, amongst the Asian community in Monterey County. And pretty soon people started coming up to the ranch asking if they could buy some balut from my dad. Dad, although he has all this great experience with helicopters and in the armed forces, he was really a man of the earth. He was very comfortable just working out in the fields and raising his animals and having fun every minute. Tomas Cruz passed away September 7th in Las Vegas at the ripe old age of 94. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.